there is stress. It sounds pretty sim simple, but many times we want to be in denial. We are stressed out. Everybody's stressed out, more or less, but everybody's stressed out. But we have a tendency to try to uh, not look at it in the eye. We don't want to see this. And actually, in order to understand the whole ball of wax, we need to realize that there is stress. You can call it stress, you can call it uneasiness, you can call it discontent, you can call it suffering, you can call it depression, you can call it anxiety, uh, panic attacks, you can call it whatever you want. But just to make it like very generic for the people that are not suffering a lot, like people that have quite a bit of stuff, uh, they're not sick, uh, they're not in want of anything, they have material stuff, they have health, they have a nice family, etc., etc. For those people, uh, those people, I would say, they still have some level of stress. Not only goes by that they don't think about maybe the economy that's going down, maybe their savings uh, uh, dwindling because the market is going down, maybe what happens if I get sick someday, what happens if my son decides to start doing drugs uh, when uh, he turns uh, uh, 15. There is stress. We, our mind never stops pondering and, uh, and uh, being stressed out about well, the fact that there is stress. The great master sat down and realized, okay, there is stress. So let me go ahead and sit down and think about this and see where this takes me because I am looking for the ultimate understanding of reality. I'm looking uh, for the attainment of peace and happiness. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here. I am going to realize that there is stress, okay? So that's the first step. So for everyone that is uh, uh, trying to uh, sit down and meditate because they're stressed out and they think that uh, uh, they, uh, they're gonna accomplish something by doing that, I would say, fine, sit down and meditate. Uh, turn, turn the music on. Uh, uh, burn some candles and incense, but I tell you what, first of all, think, think about this reality, there is stress, that's where we should start, that is the, uh, if we look at this in terms of, of uh, uh, curing a disease, we have to be a good doctor, and we have to assess the symptoms, um, and the first, the first thing that a doctor will do is, uh, uh, look at look at us and go. Hmm, there is some stress in your life. There is some stress in your in your life. So the first thing to do is assess uh, what the uh, the disease is. And the disease is that the fact that there is stress uh, uh, coming out of our mind, or we think uh, coming from the outside. The uh, the wise teacher, after sitting down and thinking about this for a long, long time. Uh, actually, a lot of uh, wise teachers make the mistake of uh, trying to uh, go about this uh, in the, the ascetic way, uh, punishing the body, uh, not eating, uh, not doing anything but sitting down and meditating, um, and depriving their senses of any, uh, any enjoyment. So, you know, even the great masters, the great teachers, make the mistake and they try to punish their body somehow. In those, in those years, it was very difficult to think that punishing the body you would pur purify your, your spirit. Uh, so, uh, you know, they made the mistake of uh, going about it. But uh, eventually, uh, thinking about it very intensely, uh, found out that this stress that exists originates from inside ourselves, from our mind. They looked, they looked at it and they realized that the stress comes within our mind. Specifically, the stress comes from our grasping at things. We want to, uh, we want to feel, we want to have, we want to enjoy, and at the same time, we don't want to suffer, we don't want to be separated from the stuff we like. So our mind has a psychological dance of I want stuff, 
I don't want stuff. I want stuff. I don't want stuff. And the great master, after pondering this very, very uh, uh, deeply, uh, came up with uh, the second uh, understanding. It's called the second noble truth. First noble truth, there is stress. Second noble truth, the origination of stress is in our mind. Trying to grab or to reject. It's that simple. Um, well, if we stop there, it would not get us anywhere. It's like, okay, we agree that there is stress. Um, it's going to take a while before we agree that it comes from within. Because in our nature, we look outside for input. And uh, of course, we always think in general that the stress comes from outside. The typical human reaction to stress is, if I had all the stuff that I needed, I would be okay. If I, if I had a better car, if I had a, a better job, a job that is totally secure, if I had uh, the guarantee that I'm gonna have all the stuff, if I had the guarantee that I'm never gonna be sick, if I had the guarantee that uh, at the end of my life, I will die in my sleep, no suffering. Um, then I will be happy. But it doesn't work like that. And just look around at the people that have it all. Um, even though it looks like they're very happy, if you scratch the, the surface and look in the inside of their mind, there is no absence of stress. It doesn't exist. It's a uh, mirage. It's a mental game. Um, so even the people that have everything, uh, look at the uh, look at the uh, uh, all the artists. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, poor uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, that young man had it all, uh, or we think he had it all. He was handsome. He was smart. He was witty. He was extremely talented. He was uh, the epitome of, a, of, a, of an artist. He he touched. Uh, the world and the people with his with his heart and with his uh, with his voice and with his uh, acting and uh, well we all know the story uh, he was a miserable uh, human being he was he was he was not happy he was not happy with his life he was not happy with his face he was not happy with his looks he, he wasn't happy with his with his uh, with anything he wasn't happy with anything and he had a uh, a, a sad life and a sad ending. So, and he had it all. He had more money than, well, actually, he had a lot of money. Apparently, he was not very wise and he had a lot of debts too. But in any case, look around and if you really, really, really look at this objectively, you will, you will realize that even when we have everything, our mind still finds a way to be under stress. So there is stress, there's no denying it. The stress comes from within, as I just made the point. The human being, even when we have it all, we're still under stress. Another stress that has very little to do with how much we have is the stress about what happens to me when I die. What happens to me when I'm gone? 